worship. Oh, hello everybody. This is Kill Me Horde. Welcome back to Call of Cthulhu. So I, I had to uh, after I ate some food there. I came back and realized I realized that I didn't look at this horn. It's got a strange creature image on it. It gave me a little bit of occultism. Scratch that. Not a little bit. A lot of bit. It went from halfway to like right there. All I have to do is interact with a table that. for sacrifice, a mass grave. Yep, let's go. We saw this last episode. So. Oh God. I got. I got it. Kind of a panic attack. Oh, it can't breathe. It is time. You will soon be one of us. If your body and mind are ready. I dream of it every night. I have constant visions. I am ready. Good I don't enough. know about that. Prove it to us. It's like in my dream. Hey, right, okay. My sanity has dropped a little, but it's back again. It seems to have been used recently. Probably some sort of ritual. Now I have level three occultism. I need to be careful with the occultism, I think. I can't read Latin. <laughs> I can't read Latin. Yep, same thing as in the dream I have to go through here. Checking. Tulu Nithsiha Fitag. Grant him your flesh and accept his, so that his body and yours may be one. Yibithnik Papadk Kutulu Bithnko. Grant him your mind Locked. I went the wrong way. Grant him your dreams and accept his, so that the paths of your souls finally intertwine. Your El Katul. I. I feel him. You are gifted indeed. Bring me more sacred flesh, you who sleep. We pray for your return into the kingdom of the earth. Dead? This ritual killed him. Again, this primitive writing. 
The bros is dead. We are ready for the ceremony. What about your protege? His awakening is complete. He will join you shortly. Almost got caught. I don't know what would happen if I get caught, but I am about to get caught. Hey, it's Davy Jones. Bradley, what are you doing here? I saw two hot looking guys coming down. Seemed up to no good. What in the world is this? An intruder! Oh shit! Don't move! Police! Don't move! I won't hesitate! Bradley, get to back! Show. Get back! You asked for it! Interloper. I need to get out of here. Yep, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. I can't see your leg, my good sir. My mouse works again. Now I'm an expert. I'll get out of here. Ugh. Oh no, my leg, it's right there. I'll get out. Hey, this is way out. We'll get out of here. Light! At last. No, oh, Edward. Rush to the Riverside Institute. He is in a critical state. I'm at the Riverside Institute now. Yeah, you know, whatever the game loads. It just has to take its time. Just has to take its time sometimes, you know? I don't know. Come on. Come on. Ah, so cool. There it goes. Dr. Fuller.
Sheditive. He's having a seizure. I don't have a seizure if you pump drugs into me like this. A strong seizure. There, he's opening his eyes. He saved him, Paula. I, I can't get up. Don't move, Pierce. You can You're certainly dead. say that you gave us a scare. <laughs> what did you do to me? Undo these straps. Whoa, go easy, my friend. You were dead. He killed you. Are you sure he's better? He was he was dead. Me too. We we were dead. What are you doing? I'm sorry, my friend. <laughs> What? No! Uh... Bald. <laughs> He's bald. I don't know. What happened to me? Where am I? Mr. Sanders, you have to come with us. No, please. I can't leave here. You've got no choice, Sanders, and neither do we. You don't understand. If I go out, he'll see me. No, no! You're leaving this cell. Please. I don't want him to find me. I don't have much else I can do. I can wait. It's dark here. I guess I should go this way. They tracked and hunted me, pursued me right into their dreams. They swooped the moon over their maps in the wake of my lonely wanderings. No season is dark enough to hide the color of my blood. What? No Strong enough to scatter my dreams. Leviathan? Fuck! God damn! They don't blind me like this. What if people have like epileptic attacks? They're gonna keep flashing lights at people like that. Oh, yes, dark, mysterious game. Oh, here's pure white. Have fun. When the last of them rises up, you will choose. I will not be here to bear witness to it, because you will have released me. But the earth will resound to your cries, or theirs. Well, Leviathan wants me to free it, so... I mean, I guess I could do that. It doesn't sound too difficult. You there. Wake up. Come on, stand up. We don't have much time. Can you stand up? Who are you? A friend of Ethan Bradley. It was he who told me that you had been interned here. Wait. Bradley is really alive. I don't understand. You filled me so full of drugs I can't distinguish dream from reality. Please believe that I have nothing to do with these disgraceful treatments. Look, I don't have time to explain everything. I'm not really supposed to be here. And the same goes for you, according to Ethan. 
You must leave as soon as possible, and as unobtrusively as possible. I've brought you your clothes. Let me go ahead. We'll meet upstairs. Uh, wait a minute. We'll meet upstairs. Like I'm gonna get up there. What's going on here? What do they do to the patients to make them so terrified? I would really like to know. I only see them when they are brought up for medical treatment. For problems they didn't have before going downstairs. But this is neither the time nor the place to talk about that. We must not stay here. There are two men standing guard near the stairs. It's the only way to the floor above. I shall try to distract them. And get at least one to come with me. All you need to do is to follow me as soon as the way is free. Understood. Bye, lady. What does this mean? I really don't like getting blinded like this. The elder. Why the strange symbol repeated over and over? What did they inject him with? Am I in an asylum? What did he write about the painting? Sarah Hawkins is on this list of authorized visitors. Sarah. I forgot that I don't enjoy this game because of that exact reason. to see you, but we all know that your curiosity will be your ruin. I don't understand. These people need care. You keep them in this terrible place as if... Go back upstairs where your patients are waiting for you to treat them. As for you, gentlemen, I want to say what you and the law. No one enters or leaves. Yes, Doctor. Yeah, not even you, Doctor. Damn it. I'll have to find a way of getting rid of those two myself. <laughs> if I don't get out of here, I'll end up like him. Okay, I can hide in a closet. <laughs> the machine is working again, but the control wheels haven't been put back on. I was just going to the storage room. I can bring them to you. No, Dr. Fuller doesn't want us touching the pressure valve. Good God. What could this machine be used for? Medical record of Francis Sanders. Suffers from psychosis. Gouged his own eyes out in an attack of delirium. Have I activated anything? It's an ammeter. I didn't expect to see one on this little rock. The corpse is complete. Is there a connection between this corpse and the machine? This machine's... What will happen if I increase the current to the limit? Well, it'll probably blow up. Worse and worse. 
What's the connection between this meat and the electrical installation? No idea, but it is meat. Zoology, esotericism, mineralogy. Sarah Hawkins. She was uh, a patient here. Yeah. Is this a hidey hole? Okay. Dementia? Self inflicted wounds? Irene Sanders, wife of Francis Sanders. Walking away, okay. Warns me. I will not eat it anymore. Never again. We must not eat it. It's done. Now for the others. Two, three, four, five, six. No, 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 not, not six. Four, five. Just got a few days to go. Yeah, that's it. Four days at most. No more. Mm, perhaps less. Is well enough inside Stop, me. I, catch him. I feel it in my head and in my body. He roars. I think that guard's like right outside the door. Strength of oceans. Its waves rise and crash, leaving behind them only a trail of white nourishing foam. He is my master. He enters me. Yes, 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 yes. Mm. Like I was like having an orgasm or something, I swear. You. Yeah, you there. Come here. I don't know what... What do you want? Sleep. That's all. Sleep? You don't want to leave? No. Have you seen the storm that's brewing? I'm fine here. Except for one problem. You want sleeping pills, right? Yeah. And in exchange, I can make noise. Lots of noise. You'll draw the guards to your cell to allow me to escape. So, you in? Find something to make me sleep, and I'll take care of the guards for you. If I find something, who knows what I'll do. Don't play the wise guy because you're on the out- Whatever, bro. Guards right there, and where I need to go is right inside that office.
Locked. Exactly what I need. Pixie lock to storage. Perfect. That's a dude, isn't it? A control wheel to mount on a plumbing system. With these chains on your wrist, you can't escape. He coming in here? Don't. God damn it. Go away. Where do they keep their sleeping pills? Scopolamine, morphine, opium. Nothing but common drugs. New friend's sleeping pills. I don't know why this is as tense as it is. Honest. I've got what you want. Show me! There. And remember, they don't come for free. Don't you worry, you'll have your diversion. Go on now, go hide yourself. The crows, they're everywhere. Make them go away. Help, help. I need it in here. What carnage? This is what I needed. Theoretically, I've only got one lever to push. Okay. Sneaking for a reason. Does not hear any more from you. Oh, and you know what? My shift is over. You can go to sleep or keep on screaming. It's no longer my problem. Yep, that's why I didn't go.
That may have looked dead at me and was like, eh. I think I've got everything but this last one. Yeah, I need green. You don't see me. It's locked. Damn it. The green gas leaves from here and it runs through the whole building. Okay, I picked a lock. I can do it. Oh yeah. Perfect. So I'm going insane being in there, so let's not be in there. All the levers are activated. It's locked. Okay, so I got all the levers. All of them. My sanity is not doing the hottest. You know. But it's fine. that up. I hope nobody comes in here. This valve controls the pressure. Dr. Fuller, I've repaired your machine as best as I can. However, the piping has been damaged. I fear that gas is escaping. I cannot do any more in such a short time. All I can do is warn you if the equipment is put under too much pressure, there's risk of an explosion. Open it up. It's impossible to break this chain with my bare head. Duct. Now for the next step. Turn it all up. I don't know if it's better for me to do it this way or if it's better for me to do it the other way, but I'm doing it this way. As I, you know, go and say. Come on, get the sanity back. Thank you. This lever must turn on the gas machine. There's nothing happening. No! Take the wheel off, bro. I don't know, man. Like, I gotta go get another wheel or something. Fuck that jazz. I'm going to the other thing. Thing that I turned on all the power for. Uh, 
I think one of the gas things is in the kitchen. But I'm not going to go to the kitchen. Damn key in there. So, like, I flipped all the levers. So, I'm just gonna... That should draw the attention of the guards. I should hide. turned and looked directly at me that should draw the attention of the guards i should hide Should be able to escape now. Oh, nope. Doctor, is that you? Don't you worry about the doctor. Right now, he'll have plenty to keep him busy with his precious machine. It gives us time to get away. I'll undo you. Get away? Get away where? I can't go anywhere. It'll find me, like it found me here. You're mistaken about the beast. What is the exact nature of the beast you're running away from? Well, you've got instinct, a sensitivity for the invisible. It puts you in danger. The creature that is pursuing me is not from our world. After what I've seen so far on this island, I'm ready to believe you. Don't do that! Do not believe. Or you'll end up like us all. What happened to you, Sanders? The real culprit is Sarah. Her and her accursed paintings. How's it her fault? You're kidding me. You're talking about Sarah Hawkins. <laughs> the one and only. The legendary. There is no artist more enlightened or cursed than Sarah Hawkins. In her office, I saw signs of a ritual, perhaps an invocation. These things, that's what makes you say she's cursed. You're wrong. It was not an invocation, but a revocation. <laughs> but she failed. And that's what counts. What's going on on this island? I'm... I'm so sorry. We should never have met. What are you talking about? Destiny! It has trapped you! No, don't let it see you, or you won't be able to escape it. Don't look at it! That's how it finds you! 
What finds me? Sarah Hawkins visitor? The Shambler? Sanders, pull yourself together. Without her, it's no longer possible to save me. No! Sanders! I got it. This is insane. What killed him? The Shambler. He literally just told you what was trying to kill him. <coughs> nope, I'm fucked. I breathed in the gas. <coughs> Need to move on. Bradley and Dr. Colden took me to the Hawkins mansion because we're using it as a hideout. Who goes there? Then. Nightmare again. I need a drink. No. I want to know what Bradley and Dr. Colden have to say about all this. Say so you're batshit crazy. I'll find evidence. You're awake, Mr. Pierce. How do you feel? Did I sleep long? I feel like shit. Starting. I'm not going to have a drink. Wait, actually, how's my sanity looking? I'm going to have a drink. <laughs> Destiny. I don't understand. How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the force, but that'll come soon. Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you alright? You look like you saw a ghost. I... Th there are things I, I can't explain. Tell us. What happened? That's what that says? I okay. saw people in hoods. They had stolen Mrs. Hawkins' in the, paintings. In the past, uh, Who are you talking when about? I first played this, Why would they do it was such just a thing? gibberish. I don't know, but they were a threat. They've taken over the caves under the mansion. They were performing some kind of ritual. One of the entryways was under Charles Hawkins' office. We suspect Mr. Hawkins are being involved. My patients believe the old islanders used to worship primitive sea gods. Could they be the focus of the cult? Am I hearing this right? Someone did deface some Brendan's statue. Delinquents. Hootlums. You got nothing more solid than that? I heard you talking earlier. That Why failed. am I not surprised? I get the impression you two don't get along. Intrusive and not very clever. Anyway, let's get back to the business at hand. 
What I'm sure of now is that the Hawkins case isn't just an accident. And what brings you to that conclusion? The fact that Charles Hawkins survived the fire. I don't understand. Mr. Hawkins was buried. That's what he would have you believe. I have a hard time believing you. You were there, Bradley. You even opened fire on him. I'd remember that. Why would he fake his own death? Do you think he covered up his wife's murder? That's possible. Seems hard to swallow. Don't you have anything more concrete, Pierce? I would tell you that you were dead. Bradley, what do you remember? I don't understand your question. The night we went into the Hawkins mansion, you don't seem to remember the tunnels and what occurred there. Uh, no memory of going down any tunnel. No, we were in the manor, then... Uh... Then what? I, uh... The rest is quite blurry. I don't recall how I came back home. And then? I went to visit you at the hospital. And called on Marie's help to get you released. And you don't remember the events of the tunnel? I don't. Let's talk about something else. Hmm, yeah, he should be dead. Given the energy he pours into Riverside, I presume it was full as cool. His father's, to be correct. He was a surgeon on board the Scylla. He founded the hospital in 1904 with funds from the Hawkins family before he died and his son Thomas Fuller took over. Two hmm. families inextricably linked. Most island families are that way. Captain Fitzroy's father was also a seaman aboard the Scylla. Powerful families dominating everything. Yes. And as you could tell, Dr. Fuller is like some crazed emperor. He wouldn't be happy if he knew we were snooping around. I know the risks. I don't fear him. Do you wish to know anything else? I found a file bearing Sarah Hawkins' name in the Institute. You're doing place. a lot of hand movements whenever it you makes speak. makes sense. A powerful family like the Hawkins had the means to hide such a disgrace. You know, when but you everyone speak, knows you the gotta, Fullers have been taking care of the Hawkins for at least a generation. Do. And all were aware of Mrs. Hawkins' fragility. Perhaps, but no one would allow a psychiatric internment. From what I read in the file, Fuller used her as a subject of his experiments. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins, subjects of Dr. Fuller. Why those two? Dr. Fuller seems to be leaving a trail of corpses. Not to mention those strange machines, chains, and tools of all kind. Yes. I've been telling you that Fuller uses his patients as guinea pigs. What I saw yes. was more akin to torture than medicine. Do you even hear what you're saying? Dr. Fuller is highly respected. It's the truth, Ethan. And I'll prove it to you. I'm listening, Mr. Pierce. I, I met a Francis Sanders. Do you know him? Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins. And that's what killed him. What? How did he die? Got picked up I'm and shaken sure around like a rag doll. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. I didn't see what. But something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? This makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders. An art collector, you say? That's probably how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. You're right. 
Without a plausible explanation for what I saw, let's not jump to conclusions. That seems wise indeed. Very well. I'll go to see Francis's widow. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. Tell Dr. Fuller to not be a bitch. Did I leave this door? Chapter 6, Sanders Residence. Fourteen chapters le total. I've got like eight left. I'm about halfway. What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders, I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. However, before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely... What brings me here? Well, well, look who's here. You know each other. Hi, we met Dad. briefly. Time enough to iron out a few matters. The main thing is that we understood one another. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death. Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah oh. Hawkins and her paintings. Sarah Hawkins, Sarah Hawkins. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? What happened to your husband is terrible, Mrs. Sanders. But from what I saw, it was inevitable. The man I met yesterday had lost his reason. He suffers no longer, if you would allow me such a platitude. Of course. Thank you for your kind words. Nobody in that hospital would have deigned to speak them to me. However, Welcome, it will Irene. require more than that to soothe my mind. I'm trying to be nice to you, I need Irene. to understand. How could this happen in a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes, did you not do anything to help him? Mrs. Sanders, I understand your grief and I extend my deepest condolences to you. But I had nothing to do with the death of your husband. I've just arrived on Darkwater. I'm investigating the death of the Hawkins family. The death of the Hawkins family? You mean it was not an accident? Probably not. Oh, this accursed island knows only tragedy after tragedy. You too would be advised to flee it like the plague. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. How did you come to meet Sarah Hawkins? Oh, we were the wealthiest right and there. most influential families on Darkwater, a 
Of course we would know each other. And when Charles returned from Europe with his sweet little artist, she and her sinister paintings were destined to catch my husband's eye. He bought many of her works over the last five years. They adorn his macabre gallery. So May I ask you what Miss Baker is doing here? How do you know her? My business with Miss Baker is private, Mr. Pierce. But you do know what kind of business Miss Baker is in, don't you? I am no fool. Please believe that much, at least. Hey, you should tell me about uh, the dimensional shambler. I deduce that your husband already mentioned this dimensional shambler. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The Shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself, if you feel so inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it, I would urge you to make the most of your visit. Because I count on ridding myself of that thing as soon as I can. Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. All right, everybody. I am all out of time for this episode today. And I shall see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.